Today we will make this mesh and material. First, import the mesh. The SBX setting is like this. We create a material and set the blend mode to mask with the two-sided option enabled so we can see both sides of the mesh. Then we add a texture sample and search for a noise texture from the engine content. We bring in a vertex normal WS node and multiply it with the texture, then multiply that result by 100. This makes the world position offset move according to the vertex normals. By switching the UV channel to 1, we get the shape we want because we adjust the mesh UVs on that UV1 channel. We animate it using a panner node. and control the speed by multiplying by 0.5. A sine node and another multiply node help create an oscillating effect, making the value go up and down. We multiply a color to the noise texture for a more natural look and see the desired result. After trying different settings, the previous one looked best, so we went with that. Finally, we quased the mesh in the actual map, applied the material, and settled, this is how it looks. So, we're creating a resource mesh in Houdini. First, we create a geometry node and generate a sphere mesh. Then, we change the primitive type to polygon. After that, we add a UV texture node and set up a second UV channel. We set the UV channel to UV1 and lay out each piece separately.
Using a UV layout node, we organize all these pieces within the UV channel. Then we use a UV smooth node to adjust the scale of each piece individually. Next, we add a transform node and scale it by 100 to match Unreal's unit scale. Finally, we create an SBX output node, name the file, and save the mesh. Thanks for watching.